Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin Masson here with, from Nintendo Nets with another Let's Play, and this time we're going to be playing Sleep Tight. Uh, and Sleep Tight has been out since, I think, late July on the Nintendo Switch, has definitely been on our radar, uh, and we wanted to pick it up, and uh, we had some people who asked for a little bit of a Let's Play and our thoughts on it. So here we go, uh, jumping into, again, Sleep Tight on the Nintendo Switch out right now. Uh, and this is from We Are Fuzzy, is a developer and using the Unreal Engine. So we have some characters here that we can select. We're going to go with Joe. Obviously, there are some unlockable characters here, which is great. I already kind of love the Pixar-esque art style. Uh, some quick summary about here, Joe, is qualified as being very easy, so that's great. Some quick controls here. We are using a Pro Controller, uh, by the way, for this uh, Let's Play. So we have Move, Aim, Select, Start, Shoot, and Swap Weapons. Fantastic. And the idea behind this, we have a little bit of tutorial. So it's fine. Yeah, teach me. Teach me. I like how it's either teach me or I got this. Quick little tutorial of the game. The idea here, of course, being um, for Sleep Tight is that we've all, as, as children, I think as parents especially, um, you know, when when we go to sleep, we say goodnight to our parents and close our eyes and turn off the lights, the monsters of our imagination sometimes begin to get to us. And the idea here in Sleep Tight is that those monsters in the imagination uh, are real and we have to defend our toy room the best way that we can. Uh, so here we see some um, enemies that are coming through right now. Uh, some of the monsters attacking as well. We can see by the right hand corner looks like my the gun that I'm using plus a little bit of health uh, and the amount of bullets I have in this case. 200, excuse me, 280 uh, in this tutorial as well. We're seeing some uh, we're seeing some of this. So it's quick, uh, quite easy thus far. It's like one shot and uh, and they're done. Dodge this. The one thing I would say is that it's very up, down, left, right. Um, it doesn't feel like there's as many angles um, for it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it feels very up, down, left, right, as opposed to being a little more circular in the motions. It's one of my observations here. So we have some power-ups that we're able to purchase here. So there's some shields. Um, and to spend our, our currency on weapons. So example, some weapons here. So it's definitely, um, as we're building it, so we've got some supplies. Um, this one? Walls and turrets, it looks like. Yeah, there's our weapons again. Ooh, some different weapons. So obviously we can unlock those um, as we go through the game as well, much like our characters, uh, we would unlock those. Gonna go through. Get ready. Here they come. Okay, defeat monsters and collect their stars. Okay, currently on the top left hand side, uh, we see I have 43 stars right now. Um, getting their stars, and I assume that the clock on the left hand side is kind of like the countdown. This would be level two. You don't scare me. And my need is to survive to the when the orange, or I guess the, the daylight, as you would maybe call it. Um, defeats the the nighttime, I guess, or the orangish orangish yellow to blue would potentially be the best way I would see that, right? Uh, so it's obviously very, it's very tower defense, um, but in this case we haven't built a tower; it's very just open room defense. Um, the aspects of sleep tight as we get further into it is that you are actually um, building kind of barriers and walls to 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 kind of get through the night as well. Again, as I mentioned before, very Pixar graphics. Um, nothing here from a parenting perspective. There you go. Um, we're going to just start creating maybe a wall and defense station. So I have a light wall. Cute, those are pillows. Uh, as I mentioned before, very Pixar-esque, very family-friendly um, animation style. You know, we are talking about monsters that are kind of our nightmares or I think you know, creatures that go bump in the night in the closet. There's nothing here from a content perspective like blood and guts or gore that worry me in any way. This definitely feels very accessible. Feels like the perfect, like, hey, 8 to 12-year-old kind of game. Uh, like I said, very Disney, very Pixar-esque, which I guess, you know, those are all fantastic things to be, I think, especially from a family perspective. Uh, so there we go. I'm starting to build up a wall. So I'm using my currency. I'm using a light wall. We have a light turret. So I'm building some defense there, and we're going to get ready to start our third day, our third night here in a second. Here we go. Ring, ring. 
So the wall seems to be doing me well, and the turret seems to be holding off, which I'm happy with. Of course, while they're doing that, I'm able to jump out and do my own defending. Survive as many nights as you can and try and earn a grade A with every character. Okay. So, so far, I mean, it's I'm really enjoying it. It plays really well. Um, again, very approachable. I like it. This could definitely be very easy. There isn't a two-player mode in this that I've discovered at all, but this could definitely be a pass to controller. And there we go. I sh survived my third day, or third night, I apologize. Now going to my fourth night. We have a more of a light turret. Okay, so there we go. So we're unlocking some of these levels as well, or some of this content. Okay, so you, so you do have to repair uh, your turrets, your, your turrets and your walls. You can't just kind of let them be. So you should be repairing those as well. So there's a little bit of... Um, in-game management of the economics of the situation, right? Am I repairing the wall? Am I repairing the turret? Am I upgrading my weapons? Am I upgrading a power boost? What am I doing? Am I unlocking some of these abilities? So kind of a lot of um, little micromanagement perspectives in there for tower defense, but of course very child approachable tower defense would be the best way I'd say. I think sometimes tower defense games can be very um, difficult to jump into. I think this one's uh, keeping it again very approachable. I love the names, by the way, of these kind of unlocks, alarm clock, night or daily chores, chores. So we're jumping into night four right now. I feel like I need to make a little bit more, I need to be using I think the corners of the room a little bit to my favor a bit more when I'm creating these barriers, really create a, a bottleneck if you would. Yeah, because they're coming, just coming right behind the wall. You know, like as much as it is is a tower defense um, game, kind of a base builder. There's definitely some twin twin stick element shooter components associated with it. Kind of the way you're moving around, um, you know, as the character. Um, as I'm kind of zipping around the room, it kind of feels very twin stick shooter, kind of trying to avoid being shot at. Um, but with that uh, building element cool, which is very, very cool. I like it. There's a total of 12 unlockable characters. Uh, here we can see me obviously is unlocking some more potential areas uh, as well, which is great. The music is also fantastic. Again, I keep going back to Pixar Disney, but it just reminds me of something that you'd hear at a, you know, a Bugs Life 2 or Toy Story 4. It just feels that feels like they've definitely kind of taken their care uh, to it as well. Deciding whether I want to uh, increase any of my power-ups or, or boosts. In this case, I'm going to increase a power-up. Power-up, weapons, defense, research. There's tons of stuff there. Get a soda. I like that. Alarm clock. Yeah, drink a soda. And they have little summaries of what these do as well, which are quite cute. These are great. Uh, interestingly enough now, uh, as I mentioned, this is out. Sleep Tight is out currently on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Uh, priced at $18.89. I think this might be Canadian, though. So uh, I think it's around probably 15 USD, I would assume. Between 15 and 20 USD, which um, I think for, for what you're getting already, that's that's kind of a really sweet spot for, for kind of um, indies um, that maybe you don't have a lot of uh, background or history with. And I think this is a perfect sweet spot for that price. Doesn't make it, uh, makes it right in that right nice price price range, very kind of impulse buy, which is great. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm like really, really enjoying it. Uh, again, I think this is such a great family game. I wish there was some way that it could be a two-player experience. It's probably my one like, hey, why don't you? Um, that'd be my one suggestion or piece of feedback, if I would, was how would you make it two-player? Um, that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, you could have like Sleep tight, the sleepover edition, right? Where you have your your friends come over. Oh, speaking of the sleepover edition, I just unlocked a new friend. 
A new character unlock, Brook. Cool, okay. Uh, I like that. I wonder if I can swap out at any time, or what is that? how does that work? Okay, well here we go. Still building my fort. Still living the dream. Gone through eight nights so far, it looks like. Made it through a week, or I'm about to go into eight night. The eighth night. Heavy wall, I like that. Medium wall. This is awesome. Like, it totally, totally would feel like the forts that you'd probably build in your room when you were a kid. Um, that's really cool, I like that. Definitely a lot more layers to it than I anticipated there being. I thought it was just really like a, again, a tower-based game, but there is definitely more elements to it with the twin shooter elements and then the level ups and power ups. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Um, this is very cool. This has the Nintendo Dad seal of approval for parenting games uh, that you should play with your kid. I like it. I like it a lot. Da, 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 Overshield, extra damage. Alright. Not this time. Okay, here we go. I am running out of bullets though, I think. It looks like I am running out of bullets. This is not going to go well for me. And I don't have a lot of energy left either. If you're noticing the red red line around me is, is energy. And I don't think I have a lot left. I think I'm going to die here in a second. Oh, I'm hooped, aren't I? I am right going to be hooped here in a second. I am basically just running away from the monsters. Yep, there we go. So there's my new best. Uh, so I went through five nights to survive, total of 11 minutes. Uh, I got a grade of F, which is not what I wanted. Uh, we have a bunch of new other unlockables. Brook is now unlockable as well. So I am going to give a bit of a crack here to playing as Brook. So we will, we'll see what happens there, shall we? So I like that. Uh, definitely get some different characters. So if there's maybe a character that when you're playing with your sons or daughters may be the most kind of attracted to, or hey, like that one looks like me, or I like their attitude, or like what they're wearing, Look gives you some right options. In this case, Brooke is uh, easy as well, gives a little bit of a, a little bit of a character information about it, uh, about her, uh, and we're going to jump right into playing as Brooke on uh, Sleep Tight. Here we go. So this time we avoided the tutorial, we jumped right into it, uh, so that's great. So again, the first couple couple nights feels pretty pretty easy. I'm sure it gets a little bit more complicated, or complicated challenging as we get further into it. I say that, but I'm getting I'm getting killed here now. Come on, Brooke. Come on. I think even the like the enemy here with the one eye and a horn kind of looks like a little bit of like if you mix the two characters from Monsters Inc. together, uh, that's what they would look like. I think. All right, it's daytime, so let's uh, figure out what we got going on here. There's my light wall defense. So it looks like um, it looks like some things carried over from last game. 47 stars already, so. Perhaps some little bit of roguelike elements there, where I get to carry over some of my gear uh, and my ability. So we're gonna we're gonna put up our, our wall fort here. I'm gonna start to make a little bit of a choke point. I think is what I'm gonna try and do here. Um, take another light wall. There we go. It costs me two suns. So let's do a sun and adds 550 health. Uh, so we have two weapons there, right? We have our dart gun and our, our Spitfire, I believe it was. So we have the ability to swap those around. Um, which was something I did not do in the last round, was swapping the weapons around, which was probably a really dumb move on my behalf. 
Uh, again, I mean, even when you look at these guns that they're using here, these look very childlike, very Nerf-like, um, you know, dart guns and stuff like that. So nothing, again, from a violence perspective that you may be worried about as a parent. Working through some of the power-ups as well. What am I going to choose anything? Our defenses, uh, medium turret I like. Let's see. Light wall, yeah, heavy wall. Light turret, let's get that set up, shall we? Some overshield, there we go. Okay, night two, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, now. So I've got my, my wall to the left of me, which I guess is supposedly, I'm swapping some weapons here, by the way, between my dart gun and my Spitfire. Uh, I guess that the wall to the left is trying to create some level of choke point so that, you know, the monsters don't attack me that way, but I have definitely left it pretty wide open. I would say it's one of the things as I back as you back up, you don't you don't see the enemies. I mean that's probably one of my critiques of it. You don't see the monsters until they're basically right on you. Just where the camera is. It feels like if you could zoom the camera out a little bit further, you'd be a little bit better prepared or able to kind of stop larger waves as they come in. Definitely when they're when I see them, it kind of feels like and they're moving very fast, it feels like, hey, I've gotta I've gotta very quickly make some decisions. And I guess maybe that's the um, I guess that, that may be part of the design mantra what they wanted to do was to kind of create a little bit of, of panic and anxiety um, but I just you know I bet you like I said if you pull that camera angle out a little bit further and you can see the monsters actually really coming in the frame a bit more um, I think that might add, add to the to the value of the game or at least some of the design but that's just my own opinion uh, I'm gonna put a turret here where am I gonna put a turret 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 turret's a fun word to say isn't it turret sounds like turd turret turd it All right, we're gonna take another wall. There we go. We're starting, we're starting to make a little bit of a fort, right? Um, I've got my walls to the left and the right of me. I've got a turret up in the center, kind of there area. All right, what are we gonna put up next? What are we gonna put up next? What? Long shot. Hmm, interesting. Uh, do I have enough to do long shot? I do not. I do not have enough stars to do that yet. Okay. So obviously we're seeing, you know, if you have enough stars, you don't have enough stars, it's in red. Uh, if you have enough stars, you have the ability to purchase it, so that's fine. Uh, I can, can't do overshield. Uh, extra damage I can't do. Uh, I think that might be pretty close to it, folks. We'll come over here, we'll maybe stock our weapons, maybe? I don't know. What do we got? Anything I can do here? No, I can't do anything. You can see in the top right-hand corner a little bit of information about, about your health. So I have 103, 150 health, and 130 darts. So that may be an indicator that I may want to spend some money on some darts, as we see here, now up to 170. It's great. Night three, we're starting. I'm going to kind of slip myself right back into this wall or uh, this area back against the wall. And here we go, folks. They are, ooh, they are flying in, aren't they? Look at that. They're not screwing around, folks. We have that turret gun hopefully helping us here as well. As much as I know the fort is there to help me, I immediately want to jump out and start running and gunning myself. And against maybe that's part of the, the twin stick shooter elements of it, is you kind of want to do it yourself. We are about halfway through the third night, so I'm feeling okay so far. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom shakalaka. Okay, zipping around. All right, uh, doing well for health. Got 50 bullets left, and I've got about uh, under 25% of the night left, so I feel like I'm doing okay. Uh, getting dangerously low on bullets, but the night is done. So there we go. We are now finished our third night, or fourth night, I believe. We're going to repair some turrets, probably is a good idea. We're going to pick up some more ammo. I desperately need ammo. Uh, keep buying ammo. Keep buying ammo. 108, I don't think is very good. I uh, don't have enough for an overshield. All right. So again, part of the again part of the kind of the management of the um, management of the event. 
81 out of 105 health. I feel like I should maybe fix that, but instead, instead I'm going to go for broke, folks. I'm just going to put up a wall, start my fourth night, and let's give her. Fourth night, let's give it. Come at me, bro. Come at me. That's what I'm saying to these monsters. Um, I think I made some really poor decisions because I do not have a lot of bullets left. I'm under 100, and my health is not great. This is not going to go well for me. Um, and they are they're coming in. They're coming in hot. Hot tamale is what they're doing right now. Uh, I'm at just... A, I don't... I, I don't know why I jumped out of my out of my fort. It's not going well. 57% or 57 bullets, 150 bullets, 45 bullets. Uh, my health is lowering quickly. These guys keep coming at me. I need to get into my fort. Ah, uh, no, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, guys, thanks very much for watching it. Uh, this has been Sleep Tight, which is available now on the Nintendo Switch eShop from We Are Fuzzy as developers. This is getting the Nintendo Dad's uh, thumbs up, seal of approval for parenting. I would highly recommend picking this game up. I think you'll have a ton of fun with it with the kids. Guys, thanks very much for watching Nintendo Dads. And while you're here, click like and subscribe to everything that we do. Again, guys, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of Sleep Tight on the Nintendo Switch from We Are Fuzzy. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.